Hey everyone, Philip here with Queen Anne's Reef. Uh, today we're back on the 310. So as you guys last seen, we got the, uh, the eight foot lighting rack, uh, the frame hung up on the ceiling, everything's all ready and secured, leveled out. And uh, so we received our light shipment order. It came in today. So now we are gonna start hanging lights on our uh, cross members down through the middle. So what we're gonna be doing is on this frame, we'll have one single light. This one will have two lights hanging from it, two lights from this one, and one from this one. And as I explained in the last video, the reason being is you guys have seen we like SPS. So this main centerpiece right here is gonna be full of SPS. That's why we're doubling down on the, the, uh, the light fixtures versus here. We're only gonna do the singles. Um, if we need to make adjustments later on, we can, but we feel this is gonna be sufficient enough. And later on, we will be parring out the tank just to measure the light, uh, the penetration of the tank, the hot spots, uh, everything that will be needed to be placed in the uh, different locations in the tank. So, I'm gonna get these things hung up. Um, just follow along with me and you guys can watch.
Okay, so we got the four in the middle hung. As you see, we've got them pretty straight and parallel. I'll make some more measurements and adjustments. Uh, right now, we've got these set to 10 inches off the water line. Um, as you, could, you guys could see me, I was uh, using a tape measure to try to get a, an estimate, not an estimate, a pretty close measurement off the, the edge of the water line. Um, I always recommend usually between eight to 12 inches. Most of the tanks in here, they're set around 10 inches. All of our frag systems are set around 10 inches. So we're gonna go ahead and set these at 10. Um, and then when we go to, to uh, later on to get the PAR meter out, we will uh, we'll see what our light penetration is and our PAR strength and everything. And if we have to make adjustments later on, we can. Um, we also, you know, you have a different level percentages that you can turn up the LEDs. But for now, we're gonna set them at 10 and go with that. Um, also a reminder, when you're setting, uh, you're, you're hanging the lights and trying to get them as level as you possibly can. Um, as the previous video I mentioned, you always wanna make sure that you're getting the alignment right for the, uh, the light bleed over. Cause you don't wanna, I mean, sometimes you just, sometimes you can't help it, but you wanna minimize that light bleed over over the edges of the tank. That way you can optimize your uh, maximum light into the tank for your spread.
Okay, so we've got the, the first four installed now. Getting the tank nice and lit up. Those are super bright. <laughs> they do really well considering they, uh, they're they they're not one of the top of the market, you know, light fixtures, but we use them in all our frag tanks here and they do fantastic. Uh, if you guys ever want any information on what type of lights we use here, if uh, some of you guys that are budgeting reefers will know what I'm using. Um, just uh, ask in the comments or just hit us up on an instant message or something and you can uh, we'll let you know and you can find out but as you can tell they do great they give us the par levels we need and 
as you guys seen, we have no problem doing SPS with this. Yes, it is in a deeper tank, but this is why these are actually only running at 66, roughly 65 to 66% something. And these we always can turn up more and we will have them up as high as we can in the tank also. Have several buddies that are running these fixtures on some of these uh, larger tanks and they're having no problems also. So we're super excited about this. It's, uh, it's nice to start seeing lighting and everything on the tank. It starts coming to life. We'll keep moving forward. I gotta get the last two hung. All right, you guys, we've got the last two in. Um, you can kind of see the, the fixture layout now that we were going for. We did the singles on the ends and then the, the, the double panels over the centers like that because like we said, we're doing the SPS down the middle and then we'll uh, kind of spread it out. The low light stuff, softies and LPS on the edges and then down at the bottom of the aquarium. So we're gonna do a quick walk around let you guys see how the final product looked like. <clears throat> and like I said, we're not running these at full percentages right now. We're gonna uh, get the par meter out and start paring the tank out to figure out what levels we need to, to uh, set the percentages at. The tanks are following us around the tank. Looks good though. And uh, hopefully we won't have too many shadows. Keep the shadows to the minimum. But all seems well. Just one final walk through right here. Alrighty. So there you guys have it. You guys got any questions or uh, just need to uh, place a comment in the in the bottom? That'll be fine. Um, we're always here to help you guys out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and thank you guys, the ones that are su subscribing. Excuse me, get tongue tied. Um, we'll keep putting out more and more videos. Um, we're trying to uh, put out videos not only for this build, but some like how-to videos and other videos of just trying to uh, share some information about the ho hobby to make it easier on people. That way they're not so scared to get into the hobby. Uh, we always wanna share the knowledge and share uh, share the wealth of the knowledge to the, 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 new, the newcomers of the, the, the community, the hobby. All right, guys, we're going to close this out. You guys have a good evening, and uh, thank you for watching here at Queen Anne's Reef.